do you think we're like approaching the age where like you start hosting Thanksgiving? Like it's literally this no. week. So <laughs> obviously I'm not hosting Thanksgiving in my, you know, 1100 square foot apartment. But if I was living in like a house, like w- at what age do you start doing that? Um, Hopefully never. I hope to never. You host. hope to never. So you wouldn't want to do it. No. So like I can't wait to do it. Like I want my entire family, like my cousins, my aunts, uncles, and Michael's entire family to come over. But I almost feel like people would like kind of compete. It's like who gets Thanksgiving this year, you know? So here's my thing. I think I love like having people over. Like I can't wait to one day have the big house with the big kitchen and like be able to host a shit ton of people yeah but i just i would like i don't know hire a caterer or like i now i understand oh, so it's a cook, like you're, you don't want to deal with the cooking aspect. yes i now i understand why like people like for instance for thanksgiving like everyone brings something like yeah. you bring a dish because it's less pressure on the it host. makes it less intimidating like you yeah. just do the turkey and maybe like a few sides and then someone will bring the mashed potatoes someone will bring the stuffing right like you know. we're bringing the salad to Thanksgiving and I'm like, I can handle that. You can do a salad. I can do that. I can see you do that. We did a arugula salad with oh. goat cheese, walnuts, and pomegranate That's seeds. That's beautiful. With homemade dressing. Stunning. Thank you. Doesn't he hate arugula? Why are you doing that? Oh, because his dad can only eat arugula. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> Honestly, like I'm excited to do it because I also think there's an element of like, I want to curate, you know this, Growing up watching Gossip Girl, I live for the Thanksgiving episodes. I'm pretty sure like when I'm having a bad day, I watch seasons one through four. Gossip Girl, Thanksgiving. That is what I'm watching. Oh my God, the holiday ones are the best. There is something about the holiday Gossip Girl. I'm not talking about the new Gossip Girl for those of you that are like, you know, 22 or younger. I'm talking about old school, Blake Lively, Leighton Meester, gossip girl with the holiday episodes they hit different Mm -hmm. and christmas they all do honestly but like the first the first one like the juxtaposition of like thanksgiving last year versus this year so good and i think i had this expectation growing up that that was going to be my life i was like oh there's going to be you know, we're going to go to Thanksgiving and we're all going to dress up like super, super glamorous. There's going to be like a level of like intensity and drama and people are going to be mad and people are going to be like storming out. And like that didn't usually happen. And I was like, wait, I'm confused. Why didn't that happen? So like that is what I want. Gossip Girl is not real life. Yeah. (laughs) They have like chefs and maids and people that probably fetch their groceries. True, but I respect but, the vision. And like, I want my vision to come to life someday. Maybe minus all the drama. Um, There's a little something called lucky girl syndrome. Yeah. Ever heard of it? Ever heard of it? So that's going to happen when I start hosting. I also really want like a cute tradition. Like, okay. you know, some families have traditions. I was thinking about this. Like when I, if I became a mother someday, like. What I, would you implement? Maybe not even a mother, just even a married couple. I like that. Like you have like a thanksgiving tradition i'm not talking about a turkey trot like i hell will sooner freeze over than me running a 5k like the morning of thanksgiving i know that's my family but did you do it i did growing up i stopped once i was old enough to like know better (laughs) (laughs) yeah i was like this shit is whack honestly i do respect it i just like i don't think i'm gonna be a member of like a fit family where like that's who we are i know but it's a lot. like a tradition, like just something like we find like a really cute and even with our friends, like we find like a cute rest or like hotel in Boston. We go there and like have coffee in the morning before we go to our family. It's like something like that I want to do. What about watching the Thanksgiving Day Parade? That's cute. Fun fact, I was in it. Or like 2008. Oh, you did tell me that you I were did. in it. That was cute. Or like no the episode deal. of Friends where they go outside and play football. Ugh, That might not be very fun, though. Not for me. No. Not my not my vibe, not my journey. <laughs> Are we going out the night before Thanksgiving? Um, no. No. I will be in Eastie, probably ordering takeout, looking at everyone on Instagram going out. <laughs> Honestly, like I don't wanna say the days are behind me of going out the night before Thanksgiving. I do know it's the biggest drinking day of the year, which I still think is crazy that it has New Year's Eve be. But I like there was a time in period in college where I didn't mind 
going to the bars and accidentally sleeping at my friend's house and waking up with like a fake eyelash on like my nostril and like rushing home to Thanksgiving where my disappointed mother opened the door for me and try to tell herself like this is just a phase but like I think now there's just something so comforting about waking up feeling great <laughs> yeah no so I think I'm not gonna partake this year like maybe in the future unless Mr. Man wants to bring me to his hometown for the night before um we will certainly not be going to mine there is quite frankly no one I would like to see <laughs> no one 